Good morning, Modern Status. We're going to get some staging set up so we can get some siding done and get all prepped and ready for the tin when that shows up. I think that was the hardest part, just getting the staging out of the truck. I'm going to take the truck cap off next time, and we'll put the staging in that way. I left it on because it's nice having the ladder rack for the longer planks, but you know what? If I have to make two trips to bring it back, it'll be worth it. Now, if you have a hard time doing something or you fail at something, try to get the lesson out of it. Like I learned that staging, it's just way too much of a workout. So instead of getting all mad and griping about it, we'll just learn from it. I bet you the pigs really like it when we're home. They get to get out in the pasture more often. Good morning, girls. You wanna come out? Go ahead. And of course they wanna come and see me. So now for putting up our siding in our trim boards, we're gonna get out our Dewalt siding gun. Use, uses coiled nails. We're just using galvanized, not stainless steel. They can take a variety of widths, widths and lengths. This is the gun we use to put the siding on the outside of the house and to put all the pine boards on the interior of the house. We have a, we have a nice pile of sawn lumber over in the side yard. That's what we're gonna be using to trim this out and side it with. It's gonna go perfectly with the rough sawn posts and beams. The Kubota sits over there again. There was a lot of people in the comments wanting to know why I wasn't using my Kubota or thinking I was foolish because I wasn't using my Kubota for lifting the beams or moving them. It's two things. It's a little tiny tractor and the worst part about it is it doesn't have enough reach. I can't even load my pickup truck over the sides of the bed. If I want to load my truck, I got to come straight on with the tailgate down, which is crazy. That's the biggest about the tractor. The loader should be able to load a dump truck, at least a one ton dump truck. So picking the beams up, it wouldn't have helped. For moving the other ones down here, they're 17 feet long. I couldn't put them on the bucket and I wasn't gonna drag them and scar them all up. I wanted to figure out what lengths I needed them to and maximize because they were pretty much right where I needed the lengths of them. I didn't have much scrap room left over. But trust me, if I could have used the Kubota for any of the pots of the big beams, 
I would have loved to. Or I wish we would have had a bigger tractor for that part. But we got what we got and we use what we can use. Now I put this board up on the overhang and I just traced the angle of the roof. Now we just gotta figure out what degree it is. It is 28 degrees. Now to figure out the length of our next one, the short point's just gonna be 13. And we can just keep growing it from there. We don't need to keep taking measurements. We'll go try this one first, and if we like it, we know 13 is the right number. I like it. All right, we're gonna need to notch this out to go around our beam up there. So I'm just using my DeWalt jigsaw. I've got the layout already marked out. I really need to get like a GoPro with a head strap so I can bring you guys up here on projects like this with me. Now these boards being rough sawn, you're gonna wanna keep them as tight as you can because they, they haven't been kiln dried, so they are gonna shrink up and you are gonna get a gap. So keep them as tight as you can. I normally don't like to build my structures right in the trees, but this one just seems appropriate to be in the trees the way it is. It just seems like it fits the environment nicely. I like this one being in the trees. I don't know why. I've never done anything with rough sawn lumber before other than New York City's trim. Sometimes I can just get a little bit too particular. But I really like the look of rough sawn lumber. I just gotta get used to working with it. I'm hoping that the truck shows up with the metal roof in and that way I can put the eave flashing on, take that stage in a pot, get more set up here, and get all the siding up, and then put off flashing on this eave too, and then keep working. That way we don't have to keep taking apart and moving the staging. We're not gonna be able to go much further without adding some more staging. I hope the tin roofing gets here soon. Last one, then we're gonna put some strapping up in here. And then we're gonna have to wait till the tin roof shows up. Hopefully that gets here soon. No sooner than I said, we're gonna need that tin roof to show up, did I hear him coming down the road? Perfect timing! Make sure 
your ends are nice and flush. You just want to put a few roofing nails in it. You don't want to go crazy putting nails in it because you're going to be screwing the tin down through it. Now, for some reason, my reveal got all messed up. So I'm just gonna, I snapped the shock line. And I'm just gonna take my skill saw and cut that line all the way across, and that'll give me my two inches down from the inside ceiling. The reason I'm doing this now is because I need to take down my staging and move it around that corner. Before my staging's gone, I want to get this cut. Well, it wouldn't be Alumna Acres Project if there wasn't a little bit of rain involved while we were trying to finish up for the day, but we got it done. And then we were able to get this board on and we got this piece of flashing started. We'll do the end later on tomorrow. Get it all finished up, it's looking good. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're there, there's a little bell button, click on that and it'll send you notifications every time we upload a video. So until tomorrow, while we're putting some tin on the roof, we'll see you right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom. Bye.